What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and I come to you today with another Premiere Pro tutorial. I know you guys have been asking about it and it did take me a little bit of time, but here it goes. I wanna show you how to create those floating text effects. You know when you're watching or Mosey's videos and sometimes some of the text come in and like they kinda like just float. I don't know about Final Cut or DaVinci Resolve, but those things when it comes to Premiere Pro, oof, they're a pain to recreate so you have it ready. Even if you go and grab like a screen shake effect, it will still not give you that effect. So today I'm gonna show you how you can recreate it and how you can grab a copy in the description below so let's jump to premiere all right so i got my premiere pro open here so of course you want to have your video in there so i'm not going to explain how i got to this point but in case you want to see it go to my video where i explain or Moses captions from scratch so i'm just going to go to text and i already ran my transcription so i'm just going to create the captions from here and i'm going to drop down just so i can see some more options my maximum length Per character I like to drop and I'll keep it in double this time just reduce my minimum duration to about two seconds and create captions up to this point I'm guessing you already know and just so we have a better sample I'm gonna go to my very first caption this is where I like to do the edits to apply to the rest of the captions so first of all we're gonna go to the Montserrat font Okay, we're gonna keep it black and we're gonna do about an 80 font size make it all caps bring it to the middle and then just drag it down a little bit okay and we're, gonna, we're also gonna add a stroke in black and i like that one to be about a size 8 and just gonna increase some of these effects so we can give these some depth okay and up to this point you might have already know what to do and i'm just gonna create a style and this will be style number two so again if you want to do anything when it comes to effects on your captions you need to upgrade them which you need to select and go up to the graphics and titles and do upgrade captions to graphics all right so now to create that motion effect it's simple you need to use the transform effect you search for transform and you drag onto your caption all right so now we'll go back to effect controls and here's our transform all this text motion is only done by two things is actually the degree or your rotation and the actual position of the text so what you're gonna do is with transform you gotta go frame by frame to actually change the position of your text and the degree sometimes you, your degree might be the same but you just kind of like need to go all the way to the left kind of come back go to the right come down and almost like just to create the floating effect so you gotta do it frame by frame so this is what it looks like first you want to set your keyframes on your position and on your rotation so my next keyframe i'm just gonna pull my text a little bit to the left and a little bit upwards and you really need to do subtle movements you shouldn't be dragging this too much otherwise it breaks the effect okay again i'm gonna pull it a little bit more to the right and a little bit more to the left i slide down and on the next one i am just gonna change my degree to about and it should be like subtle effect so maybe one degree and as far as my position and i'm gonna come down a little bit and go slightly to the right okay and i'll just repeat this process over and over also make sure that the use composition is ticked off and on the sampling you are on by cubic okay so once you go through it this is what it looks like i'm just gonna play for you so you guys can see it and i just like to this caption and there you go there you have it so once you're done you really don't want to recreate this over and over so i really recommend you coming to your transform and you click in and you click it on the side and save the preset so i already have this preset saved and what i did i actually have it for you available on the link below so all you're gonna do is very simple. You're just gonna come to your presets. You're gonna click import presets. You're gonna find where the preset is stored, where your download goes. And once you bring it up, you probably should see it under a folder that says caption effects. And you're gonna drag that effect to your caption. And there you have it. You have Alex Omorzi's floating text effect. I know it's quite a mouthful with Premiere Pro and it's pretty tough to achieve, but 
i hope this was helpful to you and if you do like more premiere pro tips like this and tutorials please be sure to comment below like and subscribe to the channel and again i see you guys in the next one peace